Hello lovely family and friends. Welcome back to my channel Dovi's Kitchen. I hope you are all doing great. If you are new here, you are warmly welcome. Please like, share, leave a comment and subscribe. And to all my subscribers and returning viewers, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for your support. In today's video, I am sharing with you how to prepare kokoyam pottage. It is known in Ghana as Mpoton Poto. I have here some cocoa yam. You can also use yam or potato. Let's peel it and start. I will do the rest of the peeling behind the scene. After peeling, I wash it very well. Let's now cut it into smaller sizes so that it can cook fast. I will now pour it into a cooking pot. Because my cocoa yam wasn't enough, I added some yam. This is optional. It will however not change the taste. Let's add enough water to it and put it on fire. I will now add stock fish. You can also add fermented cured fish, known as momoni or lapi. Let's add some vegetables and allow it to cook for about 5 minutes. I am adding tomatoes, onion and pepper. After 5 minutes, I will remove them and blend. I will allow the cocoa yam to continue cooking until it gets to the consistency I want. I will now add one tablespoon tomato paste, which is optional. It however makes it tasty. Let's now add the blended vegetables. I will stir everything together and allow it to cook. I almost forgot my spice blend. Let's add it now and stir. This is made up of ginger, garlic and some other spices. Use any spice of your choice. You can see that the liquid around it has thickened or has become creamy. This shows that we are almost done. I am now adding my fish, that is mackerel and tuna. Look at our porridge, very yummy. Let's 
Let's add salt and fish powder. I'll now stir it very well. Make sure you stir it often so that it will not stick under the pan. I just added shrimp powder. This important potton is looking delicious. Look at it. It has turned out very creamy and thick. If you have not tasted it before, please try it and see. This is the consistency I want. Now let's heat red oil and add it to the porridge. I'm adding onion for flavor and taste. I'll let it fry for about 30 seconds and then add it to the porridge. Sorry I couldn't find the clip where I added the red oil to the pottage. Let's add some spinach to the empoton poton. You can add any green vegetables of your choice. It is however optional. This is mouth watering. Try it and see. I'm adding some scallions for flavor and taste. Our important potter is ready. Let's save. Thank you so much for watching, till I see you in my next video, bye.